Hey everybody, welcome to Love Above All with Brandis. I'm kind of gonna do like a little vlog style thing today. Um, I felt in the mood to do so. So basically, we just got back from vacation and I don't know about you guys, but like when I get back from vacation, I feel, and you know you're away from your home, you're away from like your day-to-day -day things, you get back and you feel like extremely motivated to start just organizing and sorting through things and things of that nature. So basically today it's about noon time and our sleep schedule is all messed up and it's different we're just kind of taking the day slowly but i wanted to kind of show you guys just a couple things i'm doing obviously um you know i'm here in chicago so our seasons have changed and i am basically changing out my uh, son and daughter's clothes i'm bringing down their fall clothes to the basement and i'm sorry i am bringing putting their fall clothes back into their rooms and then i'm going to be taking their summer clothes and putting those into the basement and i just wanted to i mean really what i the way i organize is nothing spectacular but i just kind of wanted to show you and then i did a little something in my daughter's room kind of just started revisiting things like things were already organized but it's kind of like you start to revisit you start to um again once again declutter start taking things away that you feel aren't needed anymore and um, I'll be heading to Goodwill today to donate some things. So it's just one of those nice days where we are staying in the house. We'll probably get out later on. We're staying in the house and then we are just trying to just organize some things. So it just feels like a good day for that. And I just wanted to share a few things with you. But before I do that, I wanna show you a beautiful, beautiful tree that is just glorious that's outside my window. It, the leaves are red, it's just gorgeous. I wanna show you that first. Look at that beautiful, beautiful red tree right there. It's just so pretty. And I want to get the kids out to play in the leaves um, sometime tomorrow as well. There's another tree that I want to show you as well. One second. I don't even know if you guys can see that, if it looks way too, if the sun is too much. Let me see if I back up. There you go. But see that beautiful red tree? It's just so pretty. I just love looking at it. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. Okay, so basically today I have just been um, sorting through clothes pretty much all day. So basically all I do is I just take a bag, I do a lot with bags, and I just write girl on it, and I have three T summer, and then I will put all of her stuff in there, and it goes to the basement, and it's it's there where I, you know, where I know where it is, and then we give it away to people. I'm saving some stuff for my sister when she has children one day, and um, and then it's there in case I do wanna take it to Goodwill or whatever. So basically this is what I'm doing with my son and with my daughter. I do a lot of things with bags right here. Okay, I just wanna show you what I did in my daughter's room. This is my daughter's closet right here. And I have another, another box that I think I'm gonna be putting over here somewhere. Anyways, so as far as um, all these buckets are from the Dollar Tree and I love do it on the dime. And of course, Catherine inspired me to try to do some type of organization in the closet. Um, I did this a while ago and I did it with the write on marker and then it just started getting all smudged up. Like if you can tell, and it kind of is hard to erase off of these type of buckets that are um, more like have those ridges on them. So anyways, um, I, this morning we just kind of tried to label everything. So. And again, just start to get rid and discard things that we don't need. But we have a little hair accessory bin for my daughter and all of her little hair things. And all this stuff is from the Dollar Tree. And we have a little jewelry bin with her jewelry she likes to wear. We have two treasure boxes right here where she just puts miscellaneous things or maybe new toys that don't have a place. They go here and kind of circulate um, down here. You know, I'll put her shoes, but over here I have her skirts and then her writing bin, which is just a bunch of her, you know, lovely notes that she loves to draw. And so we put that down there. And then another idea that I think is really cool is this thing right here. It's a bag. And basically um, when she brings home her artwork from preschool, I put it in this bag. I display things in her room or around the house, things that she really likes. And then after she's at, at the end of the year, when she's done with that year of preschool, I have this accordion size folder right up here and I'll have her pick out her favorite pieces and then we'll just put them in the accordion folder. So that little system has been working out good. I also have like little memory bins up there and one over here where we just, just to store things that I know I wanna keep but I have no idea what I wanna do with it. And then we have her scrapbook stuff right up here and then right here we have her 
her little bows. This is basically my son's closet right here. And I just was in the mood, obviously, to transfer his clothes. And then also, it is prime time <laughs> to get rid of his burp rags. We have bibs, we have um, receiving blankets, and it's just time to get rid of that stuff. We don't need it anymore, so it just feels good to have this time to do so. And I'm gonna be making a lot of changes in here probably eventually, but right now how I have it set up, I, I have him with all blue bins from the Dollar Tree. And then I just wrote on there with the dry erase marker. Um, so here I have like miscellaneous items. Here I had extra clothes, you know, for his 24 months. I keep wipes um, in these bitten, these like little, containers right here. I keep extra shoes in this container right here. Um, I keep extra diapers here. I also keep diapers in this little bin right here. And this has just worked well. I mean, look how much space I have now taking out all the receiving blankets and the burp rags. Um, I don't know exactly what I'm going to be doing, but I'm sure there's going to be things that pop up. I normally keep the diaper genies in this top drawer right here. And then one other thing I wanted to show you guys, we don't have um, like a guest bathroom, but we do have a guest room and like a middle bathroom that my that we all kind of use. My children still bathe in my bathroom right now. But this was just, you know, my, my uh, son has a lot of space in his closet. So I basically um, just labeled everything and I got these, all of these, these little bag containers with zippers from the Dollar Tree as well. And I think some of them come two in a pack or one in a pack. Um, I want to see if this one has a zipper. This is just like a pouch that I think just fastens at the top. But so here I have guest pillows, more guest pillows there. I have, you know, the sheets that I'll use like on a blow up mattress um, if we need that. I mean, we do have a guest bed, but if we need that. And then we have a comforter here for a blow up mattress if we have extra guests. So I just wanted to show you that with the Dollar Tree, it's easy to kind of just store things in um, a little area as well. Okay, I also felt like labeling two of my son's items today. So basically I have his little book bin. And so I just have books with little books on there. And basically the program that I use, I just use Microsoft Word. I insert a table. I insert clip art. <laughs> my son is trying to take the phone. I insert clip art and that is how I do it. And I just pick the font and the letters or whatever. So super simple. And I just use packaging tape and paper that I printed out of. So this will be a cute little addition to the two book bins that are in my son's room for today. Okay, lunch for me today after this organizing, or during this organizing day. Basically, I have um, like a salmon salad type of a thing. I use packaged salmon and I put um, mayo and mustard and Dijon and some dill, salt and pepper, some lemon, and I kind of mix that all up together. I cooked some kale with some Himalayan salt. And then what I'll do is probably take some tortilla chips and like dip them in here and eat it like that. So that's gonna be a quick lunch for me um, as we have been organizing. It's kind of just like, you know, a ketchup day and everything like that. And then I'm gonna see if I have any thing to show you. And my kids, they had waffles with almond butter and a little bit of pure maple syrup. Just keeping it real here. This is just, again, like when you're on vacation and you come back, you're just trying to get them. Um, you're just trying to find food that you can around the house. So they enjoyed this very much and they had like a glass of milk with it as well. 